Port Ferry. It's one of a handful of true Scottish Irish Lynx style courses in Australia on the mainland. It was a real pleasure to go and play it, you know. I didn't really have too many expectations. I'd never been. I'd been to Port Ferry but never to the golf course before. And when you drive in, it's very clear that it is in Lynx land. You know, I've been lucky enough to experience what Lynx land in Scotland and Ireland looks like. And for me, it was probably more like an Irish Lynx land layout. You know, the sand dunes that you know, right on the on the edge of the water, you know, that coast crashing in. And it was very, very similar. It reminded me of a course that I played last year at Naran and Port New and it had a lot of similarities. You know, that, some of those similarities were some of the opening holes, they were fairly gentle, you know, not too linksy. But then at around the sort of eighth, ninth, you know, especially then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you really head up into the dune country, traipsing along uh, the coastline got some dramatic holes, elevated tees, you know, rolling fairways, small pot bunkers, beautifully manicured, you know, mixture of grasses on the course, you know, it's not true links in that sense, but really interesting holes, not overly long, you know, it's probably just under 6,000 meters, so it was pretty short. Obviously being a links course, the test is in the weather. I struck it on a fairly gentle day in terms of wind, so, you know, I played driving irons, I played wedges, played seven irons, a few knockdown shots, there was a bit of wind about. Greens were beautiful. I think the greenkeeper down there is a former um, lawn bowl greenkeeper. So, you know, he's used to making and presenting greens that roll very, very smoothly. They do keep them a little soft, you know, because of making it somewhat easier for the balls to stay and hold on the green. You know, the wind, if the greens were too firm, would play havoc down there. So they keep them fairly generous, but they run beautifully through the greens. And that's a very good testament to a great quality greenkeeper. And when you've got country like that, where greens have rolled really well, you know you've got someone who gives a damn and is very good at his craft. In terms of the design, I'm not exactly sure how long the course has been there. I think it moved to its current site in the 60s. It's about 5Ks outside of the town of Port Ferry. Mike Clayton, who's been intrinsic in the development of Port Ferry into what we know it and see it and play it today has been one of the driving forces behind you know helping the guys down there turn that into Trulings course and get the benefit out of the, the landforms and, and the natural characteristics that those dunes especially on the coast offer so Mike congrats well done to you it's um, it's a great testament to your craft and your passion for that Lynx golf and you know your obvious insights into spending as much time as you have done in Europe playing studying and um, you know it's a, it's a credit to you and your guys that that course can be held high as a true links course in Australia. I think the last Golf Australia magazine rating had it around the 40s and from what I can remember it's above a lot of well well known courses. So once again you know whatever rating panels rating guidelines mean to you a group of people rated it and, and positioned it in that mid 40s out of 100 Australia's best courses. So gives you a really strong indication of how highly it is regarded. And one of the overriding comments that I had, and then once reviewing some of the other previous ratings, was that it was fun. And, you know, I just zoomed around by myself, you know, so I didn't have anyone playing with me there, but it was fun. You know, you can see that it's a real shot makers course. You have to play shots. And, you know, if you do that, you know, you'll score pretty well. If you can't or don't play the shots required, you might struggle. So, um, yeah, that was Port Ferry. And I just thought I'd leave you with a little bit of, you know, my experience down there because it really was a real pleasant one, real eye-opener for me and uh, one that I can't wait to go back to and experience again. Loved it. Port Ferry, get down there. Tell them I sent you.